motion of the vehicle, making sure that it was steady and that the, uh, the, the you know, there were very few uh, vibrations of any sort. Here's a picture of the INSAT uh, actually being deployed from the uh, spacecraft. You can see that the, the deploy went very smoothly. At the moment of deploy, there was a large thump, and uh, as I said, the uh, spacecraft was deployed very smoothly, and uh, there were no vibrations or no uh, precession of the satellite as it left the uh, payload bay. Well, I think it looks so ridiculous and impossible. Um, and you can tell it's real because it looks so fake, honestly. <laughs> like, we'd have way better CGI if it was fake. <laughs> I mean, that's what it says in the Bible. All ancient uh, uh, civilizations believed in a flat plane and a firmament and everything. You know, when you, when you put it all together, the only way, if, if we really do, let's just say we really do, like it says in the Bible and like ancient civilizations, that right. we live in a special place, right. it's motionless, it's a flat plane, and there's a firmament, there's a, meaning there's a dome. But if that's true, and there is a creator. How are you going to get people to believe in a fake alien invasion? There's no way you're going to like this. If that's true, there's no fucking infinite space. There's no infinite space. So they had to crush not only God or our creator, whatever it is, but they had to crush that model.